Upwards and onwards, people. We're making reptilian lives better here. That's what we do at the camp. Let's see how Pinky and Slinky are doing because so many of you are so concerned that his size is so much bigger than her. I don't care if they breathe. I'm happy enough if they can cohabitate and be chill together. And she's still my pinky girl, can the pinky girl? So this is something for me of an experiment. I wanna see if we can keep these two together. So here he is, the big man, Slinky himself. And he's proving the name Water Monitor. He really just loves being in this water, man. This is only one weekend. Let's see what he's doing. What, what kind of mood is he in? I know he can see his girl right there. But look at this. Here we go. All right. Now she's going to go under. He's going to go looking for her. Here we go. She's up there. She's probably going to jump out of the water now because here he comes. He's pretty close to her. Now, my next words are going to be controversial. Nice sneeze, dude. Nice sneeze. There's Lola. Guapo and me. What's up, everybody? Uh, just came in to say hello to Guapo and Lola, and I want to do a little bit of an update in today's video. Let you know what's going on, what's coming up, and uh, of course, we're going to go to Slinky and Pinky's Cage and see how they're doing. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to longtime supporter, Rainy Parker. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Uh, of course, this little rock wall has been doing great, the little causeway. And uh, these guys have just adapted so nicely to this habitat. They're very happy. She loves to be up high. He's hanging out, lording over everything. And the cool thing is, guys, is check it out. Now I got to be super careful when I walk in because all these little Chinese box turtles love to congregate in this deep leaf litter down here. You see them all? So there's three right here. So they're obviously coming down from the uh, top side of things, the plateau, if you will. And uh, there's another one over there. Here it looks like there's somebody was digging around in there. We're gonna definitely get a video where I'm gonna upgrade this uh, water bowl. Uh, I think they deserve something better, don't you? That's what we're gonna do. Upwards and onwards, people. We're making reptilian lives better here. That's what we do at the camp. So, had a lot going on this week, I, uh, which is why we're gonna do this kind of update video because I'm getting things ready. If you notice, maybe for the last few months since we built Slinky's enclosure, uh, we used to have a big pile of rocks. Well, it's gone. Big pile of rocks is gone. We had some tracks come in here. We moved the zoo habitats and look at this people we've got one kind of in staging right now what is going on what do you think is going to happen i think i'm going to get busy but this is not just going to be some ordinary build i've got a very special guest coming tomorrow well actually tomorrow in my world but he's already going to have been here when you guys see this video and i'm talking about the great the mysterious the super chill and talented tanner Serpa is coming to the camp. So I'm really excited. Tanner has sent out a beautiful scape that he's working on for me. Uh, we're gonna dress that thing up. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, we're gonna have a little collaboration video. Uh, I think we're gonna do it for Bobby Rabino. Uh, so I am getting serpified, if you can believe that. So I'm really excited. That'll be coming out real soon. So stay tuned to the channel. You never know when that video is gonna drop, probably Sunday anyway. Should be pretty exciting. Uh, in the meantime, I did move all these. These are now kind of, they were ugly. I felt bad. My buddy Bill has got such a beautiful yard and he had to look at those horrible things. So I thought at least let's put them over here and I'll find places for them soon. Mr. Arrington came, hooked me up with a, uh, you know, with a really cool uh, machine and helped me out. There's Lumpy. Hey Lumpy. Lumpy is back people. Back in the back as are the female leprechauns. Hey girl, what's up, good looking? They got all the grass they need and want. I also took the rocks and we kind of redid the wall here. I've got to, of course, lift a few up and kind of place them a little bit more securely, but uh, I don't think that little redfoot male is gonna be climbing over what is now the redfoot Himalayas. Don't think it's gonna happen. I will be very surprised if it does. But let's get to it, people. Let's go visit our creatures. Let's see how Pinky and Slinky are doing in the ultimate monitor hangout. Oh, look at this, guys. It's really cool. It's kind of funny, man. I've had some people 
very concerned about Pinky, and I wanted to just show you what the reality is. We have a very large enclosure, and when I'm not in here, you can see, see where Slinky is? You see him? He was just looking at Pinky, and look where Pinky is. She's up there basking, and here is Slinky just hanging out. Come here, Slinky. This is awesome. Now, people were thinking that uh, that Pinky was terrified. Um, I don't think she looks too terrified, do you? She's just kind of high up. She feels secure there. We're gonna add more ledges and different basking areas. We're gonna get bigger logs in here. We're gonna break up the sight lines even more, even though we have changes of elevation, okay? But you saw how close Slinky was to Pinky, and no drama, man. Uh, so far, so good. Now, that being said, it is a large monitor lizard. Um, if I started to notice that Pinky would never come out of her house, uh, if I notice that she's not eating anymore, um, then I will consider, I will definitely remove her and put her in her own enclosure. But right now we've got John and his female, my buddy Jerry's female blackthroat, uh, in the two empty enclosures that I had for the next month until he finishes their enclosure. So Pinky's gonna have to hang out here for the next month at, at the least. Now listen, if at the end of the month they're still doing like they're doing now, Pinky and Slinky, I'm gonna go ahead and keep them together. I think it's kind of cool. Now, I did have something, if you guys want to check out my Instagram, you could see a video that I did where Slinky got super excited and took the food out of Pinky's mouth or actually caused her to drop her food while she was in her hide. That's normal, man. It's a big lizard in feed mode. She was like, forget it, you can have it. She's not gonna go to battle with him. He's just a big dude. But he showed no aggression towards her, only interest in actually breeding. And I can tell by his head bobbing. Now, she's not interested in breeding and that's fine, but he's not constantly hounding her, as you can see right here in this video, which is why I wanted to do this update, because so many of you are so concerned that his size is so much bigger than her and she's not necessarily receptive to breeding. Well, that's okay. I don't care if they breed. I'm happy enough if they can cohabitate and be chill together. Now, that's so far what's been happening. They both ate huge rats. He had three and she had one big one. You can see she's nice and fat and swollen and she's still my pinky girl. Come here, pinky girl. Here's my pinky love. You see that, guys? She's still my little pinky. In fact, in many ways, she's calmed down. And look at this, she is shedding already being in this enclosure. She may even put on some size if we're lucky. So I'm pretty excited about that. But here she is. You can see Slinky's looking at me. He can see her, but he's not coming after her. He's not chasing her. So you can't make assumptions based on just one video, guys, or one like two minute video. Um, I show things that are exciting and when I do a feeding video, it's pretty exciting and the animals are in a feed response. A lot of people raise these kind of lizards uh, in basements or indoors up north and they have smaller enclosures. Um, you know, you gotta take into consideration how large this enclosure is. And um, you know, I give all the props in the world to people that are able to handle these lizards uh, and, and give them a good life up north but the reality is they need a lot of space and uh well we've got it so this is something for me of an experiment i want to see if we can keep these two together um of course the key is making sure that slinky is fat and happy uh making sure that she's got a place to go i i like the fact that she likes to come up here she likes to come up here and she enjoys to the um the height, I think it gives her a sense of security when dealing with Slinky, uh, and that's fine. She's getting all the thermal regulation in. Uh, earlier I came in, she was walking around that plant. She wanders around. Slinky was in his hide box, which is right here. So they are definitely, uh, she's definitely can still behaving normally, uh, which is very, very cool. So this whole thing's an experiment, and she still loves me. I think so. And here comes the big man. Slinks is coming over here and whenever I come over to her he wants to come over and see what I'm doing and I think that's because he knows hey man I like her what are you doing that's my girl so here he is the big man Slinky himself coming to say what's up and he loves the pond the pond guys uh, is his favorite place to be as is hers she uses the upper deck more okay so she's up there a little bit more but my goodness is he down here he's always soaking he's always hanging out in it and he's proving the name water monitor he really just loves being in this water man it is amazing 
Uh, I can't thank everyone at Aquascape enough. Um, also need to shout out my friends at Knitwire. Check it out. This stuff has been amazing. Super strong, lightweight, and uh, it's been just worth its weight in gold. And believe me, this stuff is almost as, as expensive as gold. That's, well, it's worth more than gold to me, but it is not as expensive as gold. In fact, this is comparable to the black vinyl coated wire that I purchased, which was about 463 to $500 for a four by 100 foot roll. Um, this stuff's really good, really strong. They can't push out of it. This is right around the equivalent for um, about a hundred foot roll. However, these guys are in England, so it is actually done via the metric system, which would, I think it's a hundred meters, which I think is just shy of 100 feet. I don't know. Someone do the conversion for me. Thank you. Uh, it's three meters by 100 meters. So here he goes. Now let's just see. Let's see what he's doing. What, what kind of mood is he in? Now I know he can see his girl right there. He doesn't seem interested in her. You can see them two together. Now she keeps an eye on him, um, which I think is fair enough. But remember guys, this is only one weekend one week into the cohabitation i am keeping an eye on him i'm very diligent i'm very uh a hands-on dad here and uh i want to make sure what what that's my feet that's the other thing i noticed this guy is always in stalk mode in this enclosure he's always looking for something to eat always always but he's still the best lizard I've ever had, man. He's just walking around, following me around. Hey, Dad, you got anything to eat? Can I kill a lizard in here? He's got some curly tails that have wound up in here. Look, there's one over here. Here's a, a little curly tail lizard. If you guys look on the ledge, you can see it. Now, if one of these guys ventures too far, oh boy, that wouldn't be good now, would it? So these are little invasive lizards from the Bahamas, believe it or not. So this one's taking up residence right here uh, on these rocks, but it gives Pinky something cool to chase after. And hey, if she gets an invasive lizard to eat, that's all right with me, right there, girl? The other thing that makes me excited about the fact that Pinky is doing well is she's not way up here. She's not like terrified, hanging out, climbing all the way up here, you see? She's actually just up here, just high enough where she feels nice and safe. Now here's Slinky seeing her move, okay? He's craning up, seeing what she's doing. She's moving over here, but I'm still not seeing Slinky go in for the kill. Now, my next words are gonna be controversial. Not really controversial, but the reality is, is things can change in an instant. So I need to be very vigilant here. I need to just see how he's been behaving. Early on when I got Slinky, he always was a good lizard. In fact, one day he broke into Guapo and Lola's section and I found him in their hide with them all cuddled up together. So he's never been really aggressive to lizards that are bigger than or almost as big as him or larger than uh, very small animals that really clearly aren't prey. Uh, Slinky's always been pretty gentle, which is good. He's got a really good disposition. So I think that's part of the success. I am not saying that they're gonna breed ever. That may never happen. It just may not be a compatible match. But if I can get them to cohabitate, that'd be cool. Or who knows, maybe I can get a larger female uh, and that larger female, maybe I'll introduce to Slinky and I'll move Pinky out to someplace else. Who knows? There's so many things I can do here with this enclosure and I'm very excited for it. I just love the fact that our lizard here, Slinks, is uh, investigating me. He's hanging out, he's coming over. It's just been a tremendous, oh man, it's just been such a, a positive thing to have built this large enclosure to give to them. I think that it gives them so much more enrichment. There's so much more for them to do. Look at this guy, he's always, always wanting to see what I'm up to, right buddy? Yeah, that tongue's flicking a mile a minute, giving me kisses. He's uh, definitely sensing something. And I just love the fact that he feels this comfortable with me and I with him that we're able to just hang out. And guys, what would you think? I mean, how sick is it to be able to sit inside the habitat comfortably? It's just so amazing. And again, I've said it so much, this thing's gonna evolve. 
We're gonna have so much fun dressing this thing up, making it even better for Slinky. Where are you, bud? Oh, there he is. We're gonna make it even better for these two lizards. It has just been an amazing accomplishment. That being said, I'm really glad that the bulk of the uh, construction is done because my goodness, this thing was taking forever, forever. But look at this, wandering around. Oh, oh, he doesn't like when I get behind him. See, he feels a little bit insecure when he's backed up into a corner like that. But that's all right, buddy. He's just wandering around. He's making use of every single part of this enclosure. All the papyrus right here, that's gonna grow. These philodendrons, these, uh, those are, uh, I don't know the exact name of them, but the type of philodendron, they grow and they can creep all over the ground. They're gonna look really cool. Of course, all the grasses and Mexican papyrus, um, just really good stuff. This is called ficus repens, and it's gonna crawl all over the rocks and give the rocks a green look. And the rocks themselves are gonna darken with mildew and moss and all kinds of lichen and stuff that's gonna grow on them. So this thing is really gonna evolve. Uh, I just love it. I am so psyched, man. And I know you guys have been asking for an update, so I figured why not give it to you right now, give you guys this update. You can see all the behavior a monitor lizard should be showing you. Nice, sexy, sexy body he's got there. Sleek and lean, yet he is uh, definitely uh, a, a well-fed critter because he can move around. He can do this. He can look around. Now, guys, look what's going on. She's coming down. There she goes. Now, when she goes down, he may go after her. Yeah, I think so. Look, here goes the head bobs, maybe? I don't know. But here she is. He can definitely see her. But I'm not seeing any aggression. Are you seeing any aggression? I don't see any. Let's see what happens. This is why I'm in here. But look at her. She's going into the water now. So she's able to enjoy and use this enclosure as is Slinky. It's large enough to give them a feeling of security. Okay? So he definitely saw her. She's right here. She's not freaking out. She just wanted to go in the water and she did. Um, I know she loves the water herself. And I was telling you, they've both been using it. They've both been walking around doing their thing. It gives them enough speed, but enough space. But look at this. Here we go. All right. Now she's going to go under. She doesn't want to breathe with him. She's going to go under. He's going to come in. Let's see what he does. He's going to go looking for her. Oh, uh, where did his girl go? Man, you see him? Now she's right back here, guys. That's, that's my girl. And then there he is. Again, no real issues. I'm, this does not seem like a stressed out lizard. She's cautious, which is fine. She's not freaking out, spastically running around. So, I think, so far, so good, folks. She just feels secure over here. And here comes Slinks. And you'll see, she'll just go ahead and take off. Actually, Slinky doesn't even realize she's right there. So cool. But here they are, just feet away from each other. All right, there goes the head bobs. She doubles back. All right. Awesome. I don't, I, I wonder if Slinky almost freezing to death made him a little, well, touched in the head because he really has a hard time finding her. She's over here now and he seems pretty perplexed. Where'd she go? She was a mermaid, man. I think you're seeing mermaids, buddy. Where is she? But again, guys, just an awesome enclosure. I can't believe we built it. Uh, I want to thank everybody out there, man. Everyone who watches these videos, supports the channel. You guys are the reason I'm able to do this cool stuff for the animals and give you guys ideas on how to take care of them yourself. Here we go. She's up there. She's probably going to jump out of the water now because here he comes. He's pretty close to her. See that? Doubled right back. Went right underneath him. No drama. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like a horrible thing to me. She's able to get away from him. She's not stuck in one spot. And when she feels like it, she can crawl out and bask. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep this experiment going for a little while longer. Uh, if they don't settle down, 
in the next few weeks and again this is pretty settled if you ask me here he goes there he goes look at this she's gonna see him but he doesn't chase after her aggressively i'm not seeing a lot of aggression so this is good man i'm really excited really excited i'm cautious i'm out here uh this is what's been going on um but it's not really freaking me out she's not freaked out to where she doesn't do her normal thing so we're gonna keep the experiment going people all right there you have it another video an update of my two beautiful water monitors uh the asian water monitors are some of my favorite lizards second largest lizard in the world only one bigger is the komodo dragon only one longer than the moat it's good old lag of them she's doing well too but uh there you go everyone thanks so much for joining me here today thanks for supporting the channel don't forget to find me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Camp Kennan if you want to support us even further. And uh, yeah, there you go. Lizards are plenty. All doing very well here today. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll keep you updated and we'll see you in another video. Don't forget, building something with Tanner coming up soon. See ya.